The problem is there's a lot of redundant action in our day-to-day -day life in construction. And so any way we can kind of put the that was easy button in there and make it just a one-time click, that's how we're able to get things done better and more efficiently. So my name is Brian Nickel. I'm the CEO and founder of Allied BIM. We see us building a network of fabricators, building essentially the Amazon for building construction. So we started from the real life pain point of the problem of getting design data into a production facility to procure materials, to fabricate materials, and to ship it to a job site. And it sounds really easy, but it's very difficult for a lot of companies to do that. We have an investor with Arco Marie. They were building one of these entertainment golf venues and they gave us a scope of work to test it. And what we did through the study is we realized that 40% of the building construction goes to waste because it's traditional tradespeople building it, pulling tape measures, marking it with 40 flavors of Sharpie. We started developing in-house our own C-Sharp uh, Revit plugins. What we learned was that we could connect the model elements to the machines instead of exporting a data file that was disconnected from our model. So we ran a bathroom riser in that facility, which would have taken a plumber about 14 days to install by hand. We took that scope, we ran it through our software using APS, we were able to design it, model it for fabrication, fabricate it, ship it to site, and install it in two days. So we took what would have been 40% and we reduced it down to less than 1% in material waste because he had all the parts and pieces he needed to install it. He had the set of instructions. So we see APS as being an opportunity to instruct tradespeople on how to build a building three-dimensionally without having to sit there doing this on 2D paper drawings and interpreting 2D drawings. What we're starting to see is this convergence where you know, the older generation of who built our buildings is now getting phased out with new talent where they want on-the-fly results immediately. They want to get stuff done efficiently and that's helping us drive towards that vision of model to machine fabrication is getting that type of talent in there. The beauty of the community is I've been able to talk to Jim Quancy, I've been able to talk to Jaime and say, this is the problem we're trying to solve. What can you guys do to make this happen? And through the reality capture APIs that are out there, through the you know, Revit APIs, the whole SDK and and, and all of the application offerings that they've done in the last four years have enabled us to do better business and to actually provide a solution to the industries. Uh, we've got a trade labor shortage. We've got things that are impacting our ability to build quicker. Um, building this network will allow us to build buildings more efficiently and we can build it better.